For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, now we're going to do these two problems that says determine the magnitudes of the projected components of F along AB and AC. So you got this force over here, and you want to see what's the projected force over here and what's the projected force this way. Now, first, what we're going to do is we're going to find all the points involved. So A sits at 3i plus 0j plus 0k. B sits at 0i minus 0.75j plus 1k. And C sits at 0i plus 1j plus 1.5j. Okay, now that we have all the points involved, we can find the vectors that we're going to use. We're going to start with the projection along AB, and for that we're going to find the vector AB, which means it's the vector B minus the, ve the position vector A, and this is equal to negative 3i minus 0.75j plus 1k. Now, what you need is to find the magnitude of AB. And to find the magnitude, you do the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So this square plus this square plus this square. And this is 3.25. So now you can find the univector AB. The univector is the tiny vector with a magnitude of 1 aiming from A to B. So it's right here. And you find this vector by dividing the vector AB by its magnitude. So you're going to divide each of these three components by the magnitude right here. And you're going to get that the unit vector is equal to negative 0.923i minus 0.231j plus 0.308k. Now that you have the unit vector, you can find the projection of f along the along a b by calculating the dot product of f and the uni vector a b so the dot product of f f is 60i plus 12j minus 40k dot the uni vector that we just calculated which is negative 0.923i minus 0.231j plus 0.308k so 60 times 0.923 negative is negative 55.38 12 times 0.231 is negative 2.772 and negative 40 times positive 0.308 is minus 12.32 so we got uh, three negatives make a 70.47 negative but they're asking for the magnitude and the magnitude is always positive so it's 70.47 the fact that this is negative it means that the uh, force is actually going uh, is going this way so as we calculated the vector from a to b the fact that it's negative it means that the force is going from b to a that way so now we're gonna do the same thing but for ac ac vector is equal to c minus a which is equal to negative 3i plus 1j plus 1.5k the magnitude of this uh, vector ac is calculated just like we did for ab right here and is 3.5 so the uni vector ac is calculated by dividing the vector ac by its magnitude and it gives you the uni vector ac which is a tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1 now this tiny vector is equal to negative 0.857i 
plus 0.286j plus 0.429k. So now that you have the unit vector, you want to calculate the uh, co the projection of the force along along um, AC. All you do is the force and the dot product with the unit vector AC. The force is 60i plus 12j minus 40k dot the unit vector which is calculated which is negative 0.857 i plus 0.286 j plus 0.429 k so this comes out to be 65.148 and again this is uh, this is gonna be negative because 60 this is gonna be a pretty big number and this is negative again, so this is going to be negative, but they're asking us for the magnitude, so the magnitude is always positive, so it's 65.148. The fact that it's negative, again, since we calculated from A to C and not from C to A, the fact that it's negative, it means that the, the component is acting that way. In other words, it's acting in this direction, and this component is acting in this direction. That's why they are negative and that's it for the first part we got the magnitude of the component along a b and the magnitude of the component along a c now for the second part which is determine the angle between the cables we already got the vectors a b a c and we got the magnitudes right here which is all we need magnitude some vectors so you know that the dot product between the vector AB and the vector AC is equal to the magnitude of AB times the magnitude of AC and cosine of the angle between them. So we're going to calculate the dot product of negative 3i minus 0.75j plus 1k dot AC which is negative 3i plus 1j plus 1.5k and this is going to be equal to uh, the magnitude of AB which is 3.25 right here times the magnitude of AC which is 3.5 which we calculated right here and cosine of the angle between them so negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 negative 0.75 times positive 1 is negative 0.75 and 1 times 1.5 is 1.5 so this is equal to 9.75 is equal to 3.25 times 3.5 times the cosine of theta so when you solve for the uh, data you're gonna get that is equal to um, the cosine inverse of I would say cosine inverse of 9.75 over 3.25 times 3.5 And you're going to get that this is equal to 31 degrees. So this is the angle right here, 31 degrees. So final answer for the projection along AB, final answer for the magnitude of the projection along AC, and final answer for the angle between them, which is the second part of the question. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.